Hello, I'm Alan Titchmarsh and I'd like to welcome you to the National Trust's A Plant in Time Touring Exhibition. I think it's as important to look after cultivated plants in gardens that have evolved over centuries as it is to look after our native species. All right, these are plants which have involved man's intervention, but they do have wonderfully interesting histories and incomparable beauty. And if we lose them, then we lose a huge amount of botanical advancement, if you like, that's taken place over the centuries. I've always been a believer in the fact that if you're having fun and enjoying something, you will get more out of it educationally, sometimes without even noticing you're getting out of it, but also you'll feel a kind of ownership, a kind of affinity with what you're working with. And if you make a flower like mine here, hours of wasted time in front of the television, with bits of all kinds of things, a bit of sheet music, a bit of this, that and the other, then yes, you're having a bit of a giggle by making it, but by adding it to everybody else's flower, you're proving, I think, that this is your marker saying, yes, I care, it does matter. And beauty is such a transient thing. It's fleeting. And you can capture these, and these are the last phrases, they might get a bit dusty, but they do remind us of the transience of beauty and the importance of cherishing the plants we've got. We really need to be aware of the ongoing effect that our actions have on the planet, although it's such a turn-off for so many people, and I'm very, very conscious myself of trying to encourage people to be responsible for the patch outside their own house, but also to look further afield to things like National Trust Gardens, but to explain to them and to convince them that it isn't onerous. It's the greatest joy. I've been gardening for a living now for 45 years. It's a long time. Every day, I was out all day yesterday in the garden and I came in at the end just thinking, oh, I'm so glad I did that. Just being in contact with plants gives you a kind of inner calm, really, and inner reassurance. It's very, very important that we appreciate what they can do for us and their vital importance to our landscape and our countryside. Without plants, none of us, none of the animal kingdom would be alive. They're our lifeblood, quite literally, but they're beautiful. They repay attention and cultivation and care. And the more I can do and that we can do as an organisation to encourage people to get out there, interact with plants and appreciate their beauty, their relevance and their importance, the better our globe will be. I had great fun making my flower. It took me ages to find pipe cleaners and spare buttons and I know that one's off a shirt somewhere uh, and I'll regret putting it in there but I thought it was quite fun at the end. It may seem frivolous to encourage you to go and make a flower, thinking that that might make a difference to the way we look after gardens and look after plants. But in a strange sort of way, it does. Because when people get together and do something like this, and everybody brings their flower along, you feel a bit daft. It feels a bit frivolous. But you've all joined together in celebrating what Kipling called the glory of the garden. And the glory of the garden glorifieth everyone. So get out there be a bit frivolous, make your paper flower and then visit these great gardens of the National Trust and know that by simply making a flower like this you've done your bit to keep those living gardens going. <laughs>